welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here i am tevi latori and this is the tori standard if you're not new here welcome back i know it's been a minute but your girl is back and ready to release some new content okay so let's get into this <laughs> So over the past couple of weeks and up to like just over a month, I've been getting a lot of DMs and a lot of messages in my inbox to do more talking videos on confidence and habits, daily habits that I use or I practice to help me with my self-confidence. Guys, it is not going to be a one day process. You're not just going to wake up and instantaneously feel like you own the world i mean if it happens to you good for you but that usually is not the case so today i'm going to be talking quickly about just a few tips that you can incorporate into your daily routines to help you feel and be more confident confidence is something that you kind of have to fake it till you make it you practice tips and tricks like a little bit each day and you will eventually grow into your confident self. Now, being assured of who you are and what you have to offer is a big part of being confident. But today I'm just going to be talking about confidence from the outside inward. Now, I've already done a video on this, so if you missed it, you can go back and check that one. If not, just follow with me, stick with me here. So we're going to talk about how to look confident. And no, I am not talking about your clothing. I'm not talking about fashion. I'm talking about your overall body language. Might sound strange coming from me considering that this is a fashion and style channel. But like I said, I did do a video on this prior. So if you're on here, just go check out those other videos. And I have explained in previous videos how looking great kind of sort of equates to feeling great and feeling like you can conquer the world but go check those out but now i'm going to talk about body language how do you walk into a room what is the aura somebody gets from your presence are you just being there do you step into a room like Ooh, i don't know what's going on i don't know where to sit you're fumbling you you're moving around with things and you're just not sure of yourself if you are somebody that does that Check yourself quick. A confident person or a confident woman does not walk into a room biting nails. Ooh, I don't know where to sit. No, you don't know what to do with yourself. It's easy to feel that way because of course you're walking into the you're walking through the door and everybody's eyes are on you. But no way. Gather yourself. You take deep breaths. If you need to prep yourself before you open the door or whatever, you do whatever you need to do. Clear your thoughts. You have a clear path in mind you're going to walk to either reception or you're going to walk to if you're meeting someone you walk in you walk into that place with your shoulders back with your chin up and not with a lot of things in your hand if you have a purse you put your keys your whatever you have in your bag and you just hold on to that so that at least you have one hand free just in case try not to bump into anybody and walk straight walk with purpose my aunt used to say move with alacrity, <laughs> move like you have a purpose, like you know where you're going. And also be pleasant. There's nothing wrong with wearing a smile. Like that, that is very inviting. It brightens up your entire mood and it says to the other person that, hey, this person is pleasant. She's approachable. She's, she's assertive and she knows what she's about. So consider your body language. That's very important. So little by little as you practice, the next time you go out, practice it and tell me, tell me how it goes and tell me if you're treated differently. While we're on the subject of going out or being out in the social arena, be kind to your service workers. Be kind, say please, say thank you. If somebody holds out a chair for you, say thank you. If somebody opens the door for you, say thank you. You behave like a well-trained, proper, assertive young woman. And that is exactly the treatment that is going to be reciprocated to you. So your service workers are your waitresses and so on. Be kind to them. And 
if they do assist you, if they go beyond their duty to assist you with your meal or some issue you may have, be sure to say thank you and do not forget to tip. Guyanese tipping is a big thing now. I know some restaurants do actually calculate their tip if you dine there. If you if you guys know of any such places, leave it in the description below. We can help somebody out. Um, but yeah. Be kind to them say thank you if you need to ask for anything don't be scared to you're you're there to enjoy a service that you're paying for if you need to ask for something else just go ahead and ask don't um try to be all coy and like oh my god i can't ask because i don't know and it doesn't look the stop ask for it if you need to if you're not sure ask whoever you're with if it's okay for you to do x y or z so when you step into a room step into the room like a winner step like a winner posture is everything and believe it or not whether you want to accept it or not people respond to you the way you present yourself whether that's how you dress how your hair is combed how you operate I have a friend and I say you always walk into the walk into a place you could be going to get lunch or just buy a burger and fries and my friend will legitimately just step in there like he owns the place I'm like what's up with that but honestly when you do that people treat you a certain way however you present yourself is the way you're gonna be treated okay so let's get those back straight those chins up you could be thinking whatever you're thinking in your mind, but stay laser focused on what it is you have to do. Be assertive and sure of yourself. All right, so now that we've talked about how to look confident, now let's speak about how to sound confident or how to speak confidently. Now, this is a big one. Not everybody knows how to talk to another human being. Now, remember, people are just people. They're not gonna bite. I mean, you have to be a really vile human being to, for somebody to just say hello to you and then you uh, jump at them. So that is more than likely not going to happen. People are just people. They can be approached. And many times you can tell by someone's outward appearance if, you know, or there are the vibe that you get if they're approachable. So you can easily just say, hello, hi, thank you, good evening, good morning, how are you today? Simple, simple salutations like that. You can practice in front of the mirror, practice with a friend. You can practice with your family members. Just saying, hello, good morning, confidently instead of morning. Hello, hi. And the other thing is making eye contact. You have to make, like, when you're talking to somebody, it's, it's actually impolite to not look at somebody when they're speaking to you when you're conversing you need to make eye contact and you would learn that even in networking you need to make eye contact it's the proper thing to do it shows respect and it shows the person that you're actually paying attention to what they have to say so look at somebody in the eye and say hello or good evening how are you simple and that just exudes confidence Rather than looking down or looking away or playing with your hair, it doesn't come across as very confident or as if this person is sure of themselves. So practice speaking clearly, practice speaking assertively, and practice eye contact. Making eye contact is so, so very important. Next, let's talk about how to walk confidently. Now, ladies, if you cannot walk in six inch heels, do not attempt to wear six, six inch heels. It's not gonna work. You're gonna look like you're walking on uneven ground. It will mess up your posture completely and you will not feel very confident because you always have to either hold on to something, you will have to walk with your head down because you're not sure of if you step too fast or if you step on something, if you're gonna just trip over and fall. So wear comfortable shoes, comfortable clothing so that you can walk properly. 
and on that note these really tight skirts or dresses that always ride up you know you're not the ones that always ride up and every two steps you make you have to pull down pull down that does not exude confidence it's not alluring at all and it looks very disorganized you look very disorganized and you're always fixing if you go out with somebody that's always fixing you're always fixing you're always every two seconds you have to fix something it's very disturbing that's the first thing and it does not come across very confident so we spoke about posture implement that into your walk wear comfortable shoes so that you can step in confidently and you can walk and move confidently and with purpose. The first thing I would advise you guys to do is to find a confidence role model. Now, is there someone in your life that exudes confidence that you may, you may want to emulate, but it be professional or personal confidence? You can even reach out to that person to be your confidence role model. You can get insider tips on how you yourself can develop your own self-confidence you can actually be led in the right direction as it comes to your profession your career choice and all of that because we're all young women and we're all growing and we're all experiencing the world in different ways every day and we're all at different stages in our lives so there may be somebody that will be able to assist you on your journey somebody that you admire that you look up to that is maybe somebody that you want to be you want to be like that person when you grow up you can reach out to that person and ask them to just help mentor your confidence until you can reach to that supreme level of self-confidence where you're sure of yourself now here are some things to look for in your confidence mentor you look for somebody who demonstrates confidence and leadership Someone who communicates and interacts with everyone. Someone who is knowledgeable and well-rounded. Someone who is humble and is not afraid to admit mistakes. And somebody who pushes you to be the best version of yourself overall. So those are the little tips that I have for you guys today on confidence building. Little practices go a long way. First, it just starts as, as a a tip then you incorporate it into your daily routine it becomes a habit and habits turn into behaviors and behaviors turn into your lifestyle your attitudes so that's it for today you guys thank you for joining the tory standard again and if you love content like this for you first timers if you enjoy content like this be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button don't forget to hit the like button guys it's very important and you subscribing to my channel will help me out a great lot i do appreciate you guys be sure to share the video with a friend so that we can all win and grow together so before i go remember you are loved you are blessed you are great you are enough and you were created to do exploits see you next time